So learning to use it. Sure. How do you feel about femininity in CI spaces? How is it represented? Um, how's it represented? I mean, the, the women I've met in CI spaces are generally the most confident women I've ever encountered and the most comfortable with their femininity and the most in tune. And, um, so, I mean, I know that there are, are lots of communities where there might be issues around that, but I, I think ideally and in a, in a healthy CI community, it, it is a place for women to be, to express femininity and for femininity to express itself um, you know, and, and that, that whole thing, like if you take the real platonic concepts of like support and the one being supported, you know, just based on the pure physics of, of it, you know, I think, um, it makes me think of a story actually. Um, there's a new girl in our gym and she thought, Oh, that's so cool. But I'm so intimidated to go up to these big burly men and let them, you know, swing me around and <laughs> all that stuff. And, mm-hmm. and, uh, the, the girl she was talking to had been there for a long time. And she said, yeah, it's a little scary at first, but like you find a partner who can really, you know, uh, who, who you feel safe and comfortable with, you know, and then you can be gentle with you. Mm-hmm. Um, and it can be a really enjoyable experience and then she pointed at me and said there's an example of a gentleman who can um who can do that and I, I thought oh that's nice but um yeah so yeah, okay. I, I guess the the inherent sort of with the weight the taking weight and the giving weight there there might be some inherent gender functions um just okay. within the activity itself I don't know that Okay, um, it's a good time to just check in, see how you're doing with the interview process so far. Are you doing okay? Feeling good about the questions? I'm not grilling you too hard. No, uh, no, this is great. Actually, I've enjoyed spending some time this afternoon and thinking about content because it's been so long. Yeah, yeah, that's what I found for people. But it, since we can't dance as much right now, it's nice to just be able to talk about it and connect with experiences and need yeah. to take time to reflect so i'm glad you're enjoying yourself let me know if you need to take a break grab some water use the restroom do anything like that and we can sure. really pause um okay next question tell me about your experiences dancing with men yeah so when i first started i thought you i don't want to dance with men um and then once I started feeling like I had some abilities that I was confident in, um, those became my favorite dances. And then I went through a phase where like I was most interested in dancing with men um, because that was the place where I could really explore my physicality, um, you know, uh, and not worry about, um, you know, dancing with a, a Dancing with another body my size um, became really satisfying for me. Um, and uh, yeah, and actually I miss it a lot. Um, and, and I found a couple of dance partners that I felt really comfortable with and we were able to do some crazy stuff, which was just so much fun. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I have to say about that. Yeah. Would you view those experiences being different than dancing with people of other genders? Um, I think the only difference again is, is the physical potential. Um, Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, at first I thought, Oh, that's a little gay and I don't want to do that. But, um, you know, again, like once I sort of got myself accustomed to the space, like, and, and I think what it was was separating 
once I got accustomed to dancing without any sexuality, you know, once I was able to leave any sexuality out of the dance, right? Because when I first started, I was a little uncomfortable, you know, it's like, okay, I'm doing this, but like, I'm nervous in that sort of sexual nervous kind of way. And once I was able to grow out of that, then um, uh, yeah, I forget what the question was. Um, but, just if you view your experiences, um, is dancing with men different from dancing with people of other genders? No, no, no. I mean, again, like the only way it's different yeah, the only way it's different is because uh, the opportunities that uh, dancing with a larger body affords. Mm -hmm. And and when you say physical touch, does that kind of mean, like, would you describe a little bit more of what you mean by that? Having, being able to have the same physical, um, I guess, I'm kind of lost for words here, but someone being able to meet you at the same physical uh, level as the, as what you're able to bring to the CI space. Yeah, well. yeah, exactly. You know, dancing with a, I mean, I'm a big guy and dancing with a partner who's able to lift me without an issue, you know, is it's a really exciting experience, um, you know, and, and to not have that dichotomy, or to not have that disparity, you know, to have that, the sort of a balance of the build and the strength and, uh, you know, someone who, I can give them my weight without any concern yeah. for their safety. Like to know that I can give you, I can give this person my weight then there's not going to be any problem. Um, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it's a lot of fun and, um, you know, not something I can do with every dance partner. Mm -hmm. Would you say that if there was like just a men's CI group jam, would you attend those? those jams? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. And again, not because I, not because I don't like dancing with women, just because I so much enjoy dancing with other people who are my shape and size. Yeah. You know. Just an, an opportunity to explore those types of dances specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Have your experiences dancing with other men changed throughout your time as you practice CI? Uh, well, I think only in that those are the dances that I learned the most about as a, that I've, I've learned the most as a dancer. They've been the most fruitful for my development because I feel more free to try things because there's less risk of someone getting hurt. Okay. Has your relationship to touch shifted in any way throughout your experience with CI, CI specifically? CI, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's been the big thing. I mean, I think I mentioned that earlier, right? That was kind of the big thing that CI offered me was an opportunity to explore touch in a way that I desperately needed but did not have any previously being, um, avenue for. Sure, sure. Do you associate the way you move in CI with any gender characteristics specifically? No. And I think I try not to. Like, I kind of make a point of that. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you don't. Um, and that's kind of, I think, what, what's been difficult throughout this interview is trying to put a label on it as masculine or feminine when it's able to be expressed in, in both genders or all genders. Yeah. Um, okay, moving on to the next question. So if you've kind of always moved away from this, um, did you feel that shift like through throughout CI or is that something that that kind of mindset that you've had before even experiencing CI? As far as like moving like a man or? Oh, no, just like like uh, having to associate um, movement with a gender identity or making something look feminine or masculine. Because mm -hmm. um, it sounds like you don't attach that to CI. Did that happen when you joined CI or has that kind of just been a perspective you've had throughout your life? 